if you want to switch a domain if you want to switch a particular job internal job movement try that if that is if there is a company if uh, you are in a company where this is allowed i'm going to show you also how it can be done with a one of the example also guys this is going to be a super super important video for anyone in this video we are going to discuss about how to use internal job movement to switch your job into a different domain you know what moving jobs internally i think it is one of the easiest way and it is one of the right strategy for any kind of a person who basically want to switch domain for example sometimes we are as a manual tester we want to jump to automation or probably as a manual tester or a software tester we want to jump for a devops role or if you are in a support role right you want to jump to a qa role so there are many things can you can do by using the internal job movement so these are the five points i'm going to give you very very important i'm going to show you also how it can be done with a one of the example also guys this is going to be a super super important video for anyone because many times what will happen is i have seen lot of my students which were which basically use this platform which is internal job movement which basically help them to get a new job or a change domain or new profile also right even uh, when i have joined a particular company i was a support person i was able to switch to a particular qa role but before that i basically joined another company but that was another story so let's get started with the tip number 1 tip number 1 is basically says that guys you have to find the opportunity first of all make sure that you basically know about the company and there are opportunities which are basically going on you have to talk to a lot of people you have to be aware about that internal job posting uh, generally what happens is there is a certain kind of platforms which basically are available right on your system for example when i was in essential no there was a basically a dashboard where you can see in which project there is an opening for which profile right so suppose i am in a support profile and and have i have some skill related to qa i want a job movement i can see there right so that is the most important second important point is that guys you have to talk to people you have to talk to lot of people about it that okay how it can be done and you have to connect with the people who have already done it guys this works very well i have seen many times where people have basically switched from devops role to qa qa to devops support to qa right even qa to developer developer back to qa right all these can be done by using the internal job movement so make sure you talk to the people around this third tip ask your managers or their manager also for example you know what when i was in essential right so i wanted to switch to a qa role because uh, just now i have joined as a support role in this case so what happens is i went to the manager who was basically hiring for a qa role right i immediately talked to him right okay i am interested in qa i have a very good uh, knowledge and i will be very uh, able to uh, if can i switch to this right so there was a particular criteria that okay uh, you have to complete the training first in essential then only you can move to the internal job so that's the criteria i have need to fulfill and by talking to that right i was able to switch i i got the opportunity but before that i basically jumped to a new company right that was another story but you have to talk to the manager also. automation is the need of the hour this is a wake up call for the manual testers if you want to convert to automation job ready automation tester batch is now live four months live batch saturday sunday we are going to learn about core java api automation and robot automation link is in the description do check it out all the projects are live will the 24/7 doubt sessions on sd.club check out the more details tip number 4 which is keep looking and talk to hr also you need to discuss with hr also if there is any internal job movement and i am i am allowed to do it i know recently in my recent company also i have seen many people from qa switch to data analyst switch to a data scientist some of them basically switch to a devops role some of the devops also come to qa right to automation role so it was a internal movement happened many many times i think it takes very less time to be honest tip number 5 which is basically prepare a mindset and do it guys this is very very important that first of all you need to prepare very well that okay if you are applying for for example i am a qa if i am applying for devops role make sure you know you have a knowledge right you are aware about the topics which are basically there and you can ask their manager okay what should i prepare so that i can basically move myself from this right this is a very very important thing and this is very very helpful for you also live example let me give you a very live example so suppose i want to switch from uh, to a automation role or automation engineer right what you need to do is first of all make sure you learn about the automation skills so you can learn about the python rpa and civil right all the things which are basically required for a new role right you can basically talk to the people on the automation role for example i know there is a guy who is basically right now switching from the support role to automation role so he is continuously in touch with me right asking about my to tools and everything which i am basically using right so this is the thing that you can basically try look for the opportunity to automate the part right so money what he is doing is that he is basically helping us in some of the ways apart from the support role right he is basically helping us in autom in recognizing the automation scenarios and many things and also it is he is basically continuing Continuously involved in with us, right? Before even moving towards the job, right? So I am hundred percent sure that he will be able to switch the job internally by using this 
mechanism because he is very proactive in this issue right he has asked my manager already that okay i wanted to switch to a qa uh, automation role from a support and i have a knowledge so internal job movement is now very smooth and it is right now processing okay uh, when automation whenever there is an automation role so there are many automation role which are now we have opened also so he will be the first person who will be internally moved for this job right so i hope this helps guys this is a very important video which was there if you want to switch a domain if you want to switch a particular job internal job movement try that if that is if there is a company if uh, you are in a company where this is allowed make sure that you basically uh, are doing this okay if you have any question just type in the comment right what uh, about the internal job movement let me know right give me a like and subscribe if you are interested in these kind of videos thanks for watching if you are existing subscriber thanks for watching if you are new subscriber consider subscribing i create videos around the software testing and automation i'll be i'll meet you in the next video bye bye